Good morning, YouTube. Just wrapped up cardio with Bay. This is Bay. This is who I spend a lot of my time with. Wait, how cute is that, right? <laughs> if you can't eat them, stick them on your water bottle. It is officially peak week. It's Monday, so I'm officially five days out from the Salt Lake City Pro. If you guys can't tell, I've got like my diet face is very strong right now. This is my least favorite part about competition prep. It's nice to like obviously see your body get conditioned and show off all the hard work that you've been putting in, but I absolutely hate my diet face. It's just not cute. And I'm really sweaty right now. So you guys know I always keep it real with you. It's just, this is reality, this is real life. I just got off the Stairmaster, sweaty AF. I am five days out and overall I'm feeling really good. My energy levels are good. My mood has been good. I've been doing a lot of self care and making sure that I'm still taking time for my recovery and keeping my mental and emotional health on point as well. As we know, prep can play some mental games with your head and so I think that that's so important. I ended up flipping my rest day over the weekend because on Friday I was planning to train but I did my cardio and I just wasn't feeling it after that. I knew that I needed to give my mind and my body a rest that day and so my biggest piece of advice is when you're feeling that way, there's some days that you know that you're just kind of like being a little bit of a baby and you can push through it but there's some days where it's just you just gotta listen to your body and don't fight it that's my biggest piece of advice don't try and fight it if your body and your mind are both telling you to take a break take a break your body's gonna ultimately thank you for it and so that day I ended up saying today I'm gonna switch my plans and I'm gonna be okay with it I just a massage and I just relaxed that day and I woke up the next day on Saturday feeling amazing I filled my workout on Saturday and I was so thankful that I didn't fight it I didn't fight my mind I didn't fight my body and I took that rest day on Friday so biggest piece of advice don't fight it guys listen to your body on that note I'm going to do a little bit of self-care post cardio this morning as well and so I'll take you guys along with me Seriously, how peaceful. No one is even out here. And so I am going to stick my feet in the pool and do a little meditation for about 10, 15 minutes. Something that's been so cool is that I've actually been able to meditate using my own app and that is just something I'm so incredibly proud of. And not only that, I love hearing the feedback from you guys that are using it too. Not only the meditation feature, but those of you that are using all of the features like the exercise library and all of the different things I've included in it and just hearing that you guys find it helpful and valuable, it honestly means the world to me. So thank you to everyone that's using it and that's sharing your feedback with me. If you wanna try it out, I have a link in my description box all you got to do is click it and it is available for iPhone and Android. Your hips. Your pelvis. 15 minutes later and I feel a world of difference. I am like so relaxed. My heart rate was up obviously post cardio. In the beginning of the day if you're like me you think about all the things, the laundry list of things that you have on your to-do list and for me you know that can tend to get me a little bit anxious and a little bit overwhelmed and so that's why personally I feel so beneficial to start my day with some meditation to kind of like get my head in the right place, help me to be present in the moment rather than thinking about everything that I have to do on my list for the day and it puts me in a good spot to be more productive because I remember okay Karen one thing at a time and you're going to get it all done. Uh, it just helps me to stay balanced and level-headed and just keep my stress levels low so feeling much better right now. This is also kind of like my time where I just spend some time expressing gratitude, spending time with God and thanking Him for all of the blessings in my life and I think you know whether you're a believer or not just spending a few minutes every morning just expressing gratitude and thinking of the things whether you're writing them down or you just have your eyes closed and you're really just visualizing the things that you're grateful for just spending some time expressing gratitude and thinking about those things really kind of changes your whole perspective on the day I love that quote that says when you spend more time counting your blessings and less time counting your troubles you'll find that you truly already have everything that you need it's also a time for me to kind of just connect with the things that are on my mind and on my 
heart and I'll spend some time just in prayer as well. And this morning I prayed and I asked God that he would give me the confidence and the courage and the strength to live out the purpose and the desires that he's put in my heart and the purpose that he has for me here. So those of you that have already watched Amanda's video, if you have not already watched her upload, I'm gonna be a spoiler alert for you here, but her and Brian just announced that they are moving in together. <laughs> No, um, I kind of saw it coming. I mean, obviously I've watched their relationship evolve and I'm like over the moon happy for her. I just see like love and happiness just beaming out of her every day and I adore Brian. He's an amazing guy and if there's anyone in the world that I would want to see take my roommate position, it would definitely be him. So I'm so happy for her. Obviously at the same time, I'm sad. Amanda has literally become a sister to me and that's not gonna change no matter if we're living together or not. So I know that for sure, but I'm definitely going to miss her. I'm gonna miss our morning chats and winding down at night together and just everything in between on all the crazy random shenanigans that we get ourselves into. <laughs> I'm definitely happy for her, but that also means that it is time for me to go on an apartment search. I'm actually going to be looking at an apartment in the building that Amanda and Brian are moving into because we figured, you know, if we're not going to be roommates, why not at least still be neighbors? So that's going to be an option. And then I've got several other apartments lined up to look at so I will be filming an apartment tour video and I'm gonna take you guys along through the whole process with me and so hopefully you guys can help me pick out the best spot I'm gonna wrap up my little chill time here this morning and get the day started and I'll see you guys in the next clip I hope that you guys enjoy this workout footage from my last full leg day before show day. Thank you so much to Chad Nutter for this incredible edit. If you guys like this style of edit and want to see more of this in some of my vlogs to come, comment below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support throughout this prep and always. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Enjoy the video guys and I will catch y'all soon. Let's do this.